All right, g'day guys, welcome back to the vlog. Probably the last vlog, I'd say, that we'll be gonna do this year is Grand Final Day. Best day of the year. Uh, if you recall, I did do a vlog last year on Grand Final Day of us watching the stream here, and I'm gonna do similar today just to sort of give the insight into the experience of what it's like to be here for Grand Final Day. I'm looking a little bit worse for wear, I'm not gonna lie, my sleeping is cooked at the moment, making so many videos. Stayed up late last night to make sure there was a video out for this morning, uh, and before that, went out for dinner with Backyard Charizard, absolute legend. He actually bought me dinner too, he really shouldn't have done that, but uh, hoping the D's get up for him and Caden and Disco today. But if you've seen uh, my previews and stuff all week, you'll know that I'm pretty happy with whatever result tonight. Grand final day was an absolute ripper last year. Fantastic stream. It's uh, Today's got a lot to live up to, to be honest, but I'm just going to try and sit back and enjoy. I've been working really, really hard. I hope that shows in the volume of content I've been doing lately. So today's just a bit of a chance to blow off some steam, have a few drinks, and I hope to see everyone uh, sort of, even if it's just for a couple minutes, stick their head in and say good day. Last year's grand final day was a little bit different. Uh, Dylan and I woke up probably around nine, uh, and I think the start of the vlog is Dylan throwing an egg off that balcony. Uh, no one's here at the moment, I don't know. Would it be funny to do that now? Nah, it's a bit dog, isn't it? I could definitely get away with it, but I won't. Busher actually went to the open training session on Friday as well, so he got a bit of footage, and I'm gonna roll that footage now. It's your boy Bush reporting from the open training before the grand final, because unlike Jesse, I don't have a job and can go to these sorts of things, so fuck yeah, let's go. That's the same thing a lot. Oh shit. Dear ladies falling over the baby. We've just finished up at the thing. We actually went to the campfield and had a couple of beers, listened to the Benny Cousins tell a few stories about how he stole Andrew Embley's moped when he was cooked one night or something. Something like that. I wasn't paying too much attention, but good time. See you at this fucking stream. <laughs> Just enjoying a bit of food at Dylan's work desk. Don't tell him. He's probably not watching this. It's fine. Getting into the spirit a little bit on the UCAT live stream. Say hello, UCAT. Yeah, vlog. Hello, are we? What a nice little guy. Lads, 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 lads. That's a sick woe. Welcome to Grand Final Day with True Footy Live. I'm joined by Busher. You're not at the vlog camp. I am vlogging. How are you, everyone? It's great to have you here. I've been really excited for this. Uh, yeah, there we go. Yeah. Just picked in on my phone. Yeah, that audio sounds all right? Yeah, it sounds pretty crisp, I'm like. Sick, all right. I'm actually dressed by Tim Diskin. Oh? In the least raunchy way possible. <laughs> this is uh, all the stuff he sent me, so. They shorts too. No, yeah. <laughs> all the way down the jocks. I wouldn't claim credit for those shorts. Come on, man. There we go. Off to get off oh, well, the Oh, welcome to the content pals. Lads, lads, lads. Snacks, snacks, snacks. Oh, these bought gummy bears. Vlog, 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 vlog. I refuse to twerk for money. Yeah. On principle. Not again, I said. Uh, there was a good question here from Aiden Taylor. If you were in Nathan Jones' position, and you were definitely going to be picked, hypothetically, would you play or you'd go home? I think he's made the right call. I yeah. think he will reflect on it and realise he did the right thing. He did with his family. You, you can't really ever regret that, I think. Oh, yeah. No. No, so Oscar Allen was talking about the after parties for the AFL Grand Finals. Yeah. He was talking about the 2018 Grand Final against Collingwood. Yeah. They, what they actually do is they have two after parties. So they have one for the losers and one for the winners. And they book them in like in, in separate clubs. Oscar Allen was talking about how he, you know, like he was he was blind, blind drunk. Yeah. And he ended up just just by accident, it was, it, he saw there was this there was this group of like, you know, African American rappers just like sitting in this group, and he hadn't really paid any attention to it. He walked, you know, had a big velvet rope, uh, and he actually like got past the, the bouncer that was guarding the VIP area and just stepped over the rope and sat next to this guy and just started talking to him. As it turns out, when he got back to his friends, they're like, "You go, you were talking to Will I Am," and he was like, "Oh, that's cool, that's cool." And then apparently the story is the Black Eyed Peas accidentally went to Collingwood's after party after the grand final and they're, they're all sitting around and they're like oh yeah congratulations on the win kind of thing and they go oh no no, no. the other team the West Coast Eagles won and they went oh, we're out of here we don't party with losers <laughs> <laughs> the doggies are running out songs of the West uh, your favorite beverage uh, Luke or <laughs> Jack Daniels Oh, the D's are running out now. It's time to get D's nuts, baby. Beverage or Goodwin, would you rather have as your head coach? 
Beveridge more proven. Goodwin's clearly an elite coach, though. The game style that the Demons play is just incredible. They've got the players, like, they've got a very blessed and talented list, but they're a joy to watch. Their, their defensive structures are so sound. Again, it helps that they have, like, elite players in those positions. Uh, their midfield is, like, equally inside dominant, but their spread on the outside is really good as well. Um, so, to optimise and use that talent effectively, I think Simon Goodwin is, a, is an absolute gun coach. Here we go, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's get this bread. Here we go. Oh, it, looks, it looks great, doesn't nah, it? Actually, yeah. it's so, Liberatore has it out at the centre. He's won the free kick from the holding the ball. And he's going to send it probably deep. Yep, that's a pretty penetrating kick to the forward flank. Bont and Pelly nearly brings oh, it down. Could have our first ahead. goal here. Nah, Petrarca okay. clears. Logan has dropped 79.99, 80 bucks Friends, on the stream. What an absolute legend. Thank you so much, Logan. You're Does a huge fan. Two pizzas now? <laughs> I am shouting the boys uh, to dinner tonight because they're here at the stream. We got Bailey Fritch lining up for the second goal of the game oh, after that first goal. Second goal. He's made no mistake. The Demons had the Easy. first two. I had bet $5 on Petrarca, $14 first goal scorer, and I didn't quite get on the vlog, but the reaction was priceless. So, absolutely pumped with that. <sighs> Melbourne dominating this contest so far. Salem's going to send the ball in deep. Scores 27 to 8. We have got five minutes, four minutes even remaining in this first term. Salem is going to send the ball in deep. Melbourne have just been all over the Bulldogs. Wow. wow. If you heard that stat, the Dogs have only lost four first quarters this season, so they traditionally start well. They're, I don't think they're in real trouble yet, but one more... No, I think they'll be okay, because they're still playing half a ball. Like, you yeah. can just tell they're, they're still going at it. Momentum does shift, and I, I don't think they look flat. I just think Melbourne looked pretty damn good. They look very clean. Very clean. Yeah, that's the clear difference a between... A lot of them. intercept. Like, they're grabbing every mark, intercept. And finding shorter to medium targets a lot more effectively than the yeah. dogs. It's a disposal heavy first quarter. Oliver, Daniel, was it Duncan? Duncan yeah. All on 12 possessions, that's incredible. This demon side, I, I've said it recently, it'll be validated with the flag and they could make me look very silly here if they don't win the flag today. But I actually reckon they compare very well against some of the best teams I've ever seen. Which, I think the best team I've ever seen is Geelong West 7 8 But in terms of like top gear football, Melbourne are incredible. I can't. Say what this is, or show anyone, but it's just a sensor on the chest. Ah, oh, is that real? That looks disgusting. That does look disgusting. But that, it's, it looks photoshopped, but I don't know. Yeah, right, that the gross. Yeah. But anyway, I wish I hadn't seen that. It's a hot footy at the top of the dog's goal. Draw again! Draw! Oh, yes! Two in a minute! Come on! Norm Smith! That's such a weird reaction for a guy wearing a Melbourne shirt, but oh. I'm happy for Trelaw. This is game on, baby. Oh, With 10 Trelaw. points, the margin. All right, so Ben Brown's lining up for a goal. The margin is three points. Trelaw scored twice. Norton snapped a great goal uh, after crumbing his own contest. Ben Brown needs this for Melbourne to regain a bit of momentum. They're under siege after dominating the first term. Three points. Ben Brown has nailed it. It's a nine-point ball game, baby. This is a great grand final in the making. Gorney's lining up oh. for a set shot from the pocket here after the Ben Brown kick. It's a pretty good kick. Oh, that's it's good. a big kick. It's a goal. The Demons have kicked another one. What is his reaction? D's, D's, no, D's. No, it's missed. Oh, missed it. No, that was, I was going to say, what kind of weird celebration is that? I thought that was a goal. Yeah. Oh, oh Bontempelli. Okay. Bontempelli. That's a great mark. You made a comment. He'd sort of been uh, underwhelming so far. And you were right. And now he's just starting working with the game. He gives Oliver a bit of a whack in the head. He does. And then he takes a very good mark running back with the flight. And he's in the pocket. He has nailed it. We're back to four points. Hunter wins a high free kick tackle against Fargo. Did he draw it? A little bit. But those are always paid, so you've got to pay this one. He's nailed it. He's done it. No doubt about it. Hunter! The dogs lead this grand final by two points. Who let the dogs out? Buck, 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 buck. Content A. 27 seconds remaining. The dogs lead by seven uh, before half time, that is. The last Ooh. chance to score is going to be the dogs that get that chance. But Stephen May intercepts. Does he? Does he? He's called play no. on. He's dropped the mark. I was going to say, oh, can help them too. the demons do not want to concede here. They do not want to concede here. Norton gets the handball out. Lockie Hunter's going to have a shot on the siren. He's missed. Ooh. He's missed. And it's eight points at half time. Holy crap, the dogs Holy are eight crap. points up in this grand final at half time. Wow. How far down were they? Like 20 points, I think, at quarter time? Nothing. It was like 10, 15, I think. Was it? It got out to 20 at one point, yeah. and now they lead. 
by an outrageous eight points, but that was an incredible quarter. I did pick the dogs would have a good second quarter, but that exceeded what I was expecting. It's good to see it go back and forth. Yeah, like a pendulum, you might say. Well, the Western Bulldogs are actually sponsored by Pedigree Dog Food. There you go, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what a crap! Joe Hannison has taken the mark JJ. on the He's trying to walk around on the angle, but I think he's going to have to go hard up against the line. Either way, this is a, a most players kick this about 95% of the time, I reckon. Fuck. Oh, we just that missed that. That was a good grab. We missed that on the footage, I reckon, but, like, yeah. but that is a fantastic contested mark from Jason Johannesson. D's needs He's got a lift. it. He's got it. He's nailed it. Nailed it. And 13 points to the dogs. 10 minutes to go in the third. You feel like the dogs get the next one and it almost breaks the back of this game. Oh, yeah. It would be, it's a great test of strength and character here for the demons. Harms. Oh, that's a great kick. Hey. Fritsch. This Bailey. is what I mean. Come on. Come on, 19 points down, nine minutes to go in third. Finally, the D's get some actual separation and they can find someone by foot. Oh, he needs this. Oh, he's got it, yes. Come on, D's. Get back into it, boys. D's, 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 They need that. D's, 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 Could that be a bit of a fire starter? You have missed some epic reactions from me. I am losing it. Come on, demons. They are six, uh, seven points down. Uh, ben Brown has taken a great mark. I just, I just want a good game. This is the high moment of the game. So yeah, yeah. fucking, it's completely flipped. Clearance is nine to seven to Melbourne, and then inside, uh, inside fifty-seven to three to Melbourne. This isn't a fucking good grand final, hey. Yeah, this it's is a cool. Brown, he needs to kick it. It'll sting if it doesn't. He kicked it. Yes, come on, Dees. Let's go. Woo. Let's go. High fives all round, baby. Brayshaw. He's sixty meters out. Oh, he's overshot the kick. That's a poor oh, kick. It's out of bounds on the full. Is that on the full? That's, that was right on the line. That's man. not good. That is not good. The demons had the dogs in their hand. They had both plums right there. They were about to squeeze and instead they just let go. Oh man. It's a boundary throw in deep in Melbourne's 450. Five minutes in the third quarter remaining. One point the difference. Oh, Daniel oh, makes a very rare it. defensive error. Brayshaw can make up for it. Oh, he's, he fucked, does it. It, up he's again. fucked it up again. No. Petrarca, out to Brayshaw. Brayshaw's well and truly... Oh, that was good by JJ, then. Brayshaw's having a big yeah. impact, though, to be fair. Yeah, he is. Oh, Brayshaw has taken a diving mark in the pocket. Credit yeah. to him. Like, he, he fucked up that kick, uh, and, and the second one as well. But he's well and truly lifted, and he is a big factor oh, he's, in Melbourne. He's helping this game. He's yeah, playing really well. Is your dishwasher on because there is steam behind you? I think she's trying to freak me out like there's a ghost. Brayshaw lining up. He's kicked it! Come on, Brayshaw! Come on, Dees! They lead by five. And there is no steam. The Dees might be out here. Who is that? 32. Sparrow. Sparrow! To the square! Oh, oh. well done, Eastern Wood. Oh, Outstanding. This is an amazing game of football. Everyone's This game is really lifted into fifth gear. If it was yeah. fourth gear the whole game until an hour. Pick it way on the back. Petrarca! Petrarca! Yes! I've made a spill! And that's another bet. I bet on for two goals or more. Woo! Cash money, baby! It's like ten dollars. <laughs> I'm gonna get some towelettes. There is Petrarca. 30 seconds to go. Oliver! Sparrow launches! That's going through! That's a ah! goal! Oh my god! Fuck! The D's out of nowhere have blown this game out with six consecutive goals when we were just about ready to write them off. Yeah. And now 18 points up. Wow. 30 seconds to go in the third term. Could we see another Demons goal? They win the clearance. Oliver! 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 No way! No way! <laughs> oh my god, seven goals in how many minutes? I reckon that's seven minutes. Seven and seven. They call it the Premiership quarter for a reason. Fuck. This is insane for Melbourne. To they, come back. They look I, I almost written them off. I had almost I know written you had. them off. I wasn't at that point. I was, yeah. I was at one more goal. And then it was going to take a big... Fuck. Uh, dogs fans not happy. You would want to throw up if you're a Dogs fan at the moment. I am feeling for you guys. Oh. If you're out there at the moment and you're a Dogs fan, I'm sorry that I'm carrying on. But this has been an amazing spectacle. <laughs> Another clearance. Surely oh. not. Surely not. Petrarca! Oh, he's going to get caught. He's got it out, but there's not enough time. The dogs escape. And holy fuck, oh. they are lucky. That is three-quarter time in the 2021 AFL Grand Final. The Demons lead the dogs by 24 points. After a big the surge. Zone line. hasn't gone yet, but it will. And that is huge. Boy, oh boy. If wow, you're the man. dogs, look at their heads. Like I'm looking at a few dogs' heads, fuck. and they're dropping. Even Bob. 
Bot was looking down. Look at him. They need to sh fucking pull they the finger out of their ass now, though. They need to lift. They need to not tell it. Bont's the captain. He needs to be walking off with purpose and saying, boys, we need to get back into this because you don't walk back to the huddle like that. Nah. Ben Brown's lining up to make this a five goal margin. This could break the back of the dogs. He's got a good point, though. This has been for Ben Brown. He's kicked it, no mistake. We oh, are 30 points shit. adrift. Sparko finds Fritch. Lining up for five. Fuck, how do you split the norm? This is, this is it. This is the game, I reckon, if he kicks this. Yeah. Do you think it's the norm? I think there's still plenty of water going on the bridge for norm. Five, but five goals in the grand final. I'm still feeling track. And yeah, and he, he won that clearance, and then did he get yeah. another possession in that yeah. chain? Yeah, he did a handball in there as well. I think track. Yeah, track. I think Regardless track. of his kick. But we'll see, there's still a lot to go. Imagine if Bailey Fridge kicks like... Oh, he's fucking nailed it. Nailed that. The Ds are going to be premiers. The Bulldogs have well and truly dropped their heads. This has been a bit of a pitiful fourth quarter, we'd have to say. I quite agree. Yeah. It's, it's been a shame, but I'm so happy for Melbourne. Luke Jackson is lining up to make this a 61-point ball game. It's incredible to think this team is going to lose by 11, 10 goals and dominate the second quarter in the way they did. Yeah. yeah. He's kicked it. Melbourne can do no wrong. They are in God mode. The best defense in the league. I give the most fittest. Inside contested dominance. Best ruck in the league. Outside run and spread top notch. And maybe the key forward is probably the position on the field that they don't dominate in, but the medium goal scorers, in particular Bailey Fritch. Yeah, kill it, yeah. Incredible. Three minutes 20 remaining in what has been an incredible grand final. Despite the score, if you just simply looked at the score, you wouldn't think this was anything to write home about, but it has been an amazing showcase from the best team in the, in the AFL and potentially going to be the best team for a number of years. The Demons are walking all over them. Bailey Fritch is lining up for a sixth goal. He's just taken an uncontested mark. Wow. Three, two. The Demons are premiers for 2021. The kick doesn't matter. I wonder if he's going to kick it anyway. He is. He's going to kick it. This will make it 60. He's got a 74 go. points. Go, sir. 74. Go. Points. The <laughs> Demons have won the premiership. Wow. Oh, to be the state of Caden McDonald's draft right now. But. They deserve it, and their fans deserve it. And my heart does go out to the Bulldogs fans. This would be painful. But realistically, the Demons are the best team of the year. I agree. Oh, 100%. They deserve to win. And ultimately, the Dogs gave it their all in that second quarter. They looked like the better team and couldn't respond when the, Melbourne, yeah. when the Demons lifted. And that's been the story all year. When Melbourne lift, Melbourne <laughs> can get close to it. Since, since they were 20 points down, it's been almost 100 points to six. That's fucked. Yeah. That's actually fucked. Petrarca has been an incredible player. I'm so glad that he yeah. will likely get a medal today. Best old ground. Oh, he's so psyched. One of the he's best so players. Good from that. One of the best players in the comp. Arguably the best. After I've just seen that, I've been saying Bond, but yeah, no, I think Petrarca showed it a it's, lot more. It's what you do in big games, as we know from Dusty Martin, and what Petrarca did tonight was absolutely incredible. Yeah, it's too. It's hard to be too critical on Bond because he had three goals in 25, but. I think that the main critical point for me, as I said earlier in this, this stream, was when the seventh goal or whatever the Melbourne kicked in a row, Bont's body language yeah. just dropped. And oh, that's the yes. last thing you want from yeah. your captain. Which and is what you were saying in three quarters time. You're like, yeah. you don't walk off with your head down. Yeah, no, down. you need to be marching your players yeah. back and being like, boys, fuck what just happened because this game has swung both ways. And it went exactly as their body language suggested. Uh -huh. All right, guys, we're probably going to wrap up the stream there. It has been phenomenal. Thank you so much for all your time and support this year. Thanks for spending your day with Grand, um, grand Final Day with True Footy. Uh, it's been incredible. No regrets. Really glad we did this. Thank you, Callum, for joining us today. Oh, uh, my pleasure. Thank you, Busha. Let's get you in the, in the vlog footage. Oh, goddamn. Don't subject me. Oh, sexy. That's sexy. What a drip. All right, boys and girls, that is all she wrote for the 2021 season. That was incredible. I've just had, like, a three hour break since the stream ended. Uh, the boys are gone. We were originally going to go out, but I think we're all pretty tired. We're all, we're not young men anymore, unfortunately. What an emotional grand final that was. Just an incredible performance. Uh, the D switched it on and I, I genuinely think it's one of the best teams I've ever seen. I know they, you know, went 17, four and one. Um, and you compare that to Essendon in 2000, who I never saw, they only lost one game. Um, I didn't see them, but of the teams I've seen, Geelong 07, 08, uh, obviously they didn't win 08, but Melbourne in terms of the top quality of football that they play oh, they're up there with the best I've ever seen just the way they play the game is just incredible uh, been, it's been incredible seeing you know the reaction from Caden 
that Cal Charizard, Tim Diskin, all these guys I've talked about. Um, so happy for them and commiserations to the Bulldogs. They were, played an incredible season. Um, it's just one of those years where you're unlucky that you're coming up against uh, Melbourne, who are you know, one of the best teams I've ever seen, like I said. So thanks so much to all you guys who jumped on the stream. Uh, had really good fun. Uh, it was the exact grand final day I was looking for. Thank you so much to all the new subscribers. Um, to hit 15K and 16K in almost the same week, uh, it's unreal. So that was the goal I set for today was to hit, well, originally 15K, change that to 16K, and you guys helped me get there, and I really, really appreciate it, guys. So stay tuned for more content. Content's not gonna stop. Gonna try and be consistent over the trade period up until the draft, and then we'll see what happens after that. But for now, I'm gonna go edit this vlog, because uh, I've gotta do a video with you, Kat, tomorrow, and I'm meeting up with Backyard Charizard as well. And fuck, I'll have to start doing the next video on this channel as well, whatever that's going to be. Take it easy, guys. I appreciate you all, and I'll see you soon. Bye.